Wow, everyone. Welcome back to another video. What a day it's been. WWDC wrapped up about three hours ago, and now we are here. The iOS 16 beta has been performing actually pretty good on this iPhone 11 and um, stuff like that. But I wanted to show y'all the iPhone phone app crashed on me. Um, SOS when you have no SIM card in uh, shows up now. So because this has no SIM, it shows up SOS and stuff like that. So this is a little bit of a jam-packed video. Here's my review on iOS 16 after three hours and stuff like that. Uh, 16 beta one, the build number ends in a P and we'll get into that and I'll show you all, all the new about stuff. And I kind of like the way this is all privacy oriented and, um, I'm not going to get into it today, but down the road, I'll get into it. Voiceover, all voices that have been on Mac OS for the longest time, everything has came over. Now there are new voices, literally brand new voices that never been on the iPhone. And I'll cover all that later in life. Today is just like my top, skimming the top of um, iOS. So Apple's update servers are getting hit, or it could be my network nodes. But we're expecting a three-hour install delay for um, Mac OS 13. Yay. So yeah, Mac OS was taking forever. And then it installed on my primary drive. So now I have a problem. I had to reinstall Mac OS because I don't want my um the new Mac OS 13 on my primary drive. But we're going to get started with this um with with all these nice lovely notifications features, FaceTime features and stuff like that. As I was installing, I was like, it's tiny. The update is. I come to find out it only downloads the system requirement files and then it's downloading like when you have to download other files like um wallpapers and stuff, it actually downloads them when you need them. So that's actually really nice and convenient. All right, so here's the pop-up that I got when my first application crashed, which was the phone app. I submitted to feedback. It gave me a privacy statement notice. I recommend anytime you run across that pop-up, this type of pop-up where an app crashes and it asks you to send back feedback, you're running beta software, please do. All right, so here we go. And then I, um, it was giving me another statement, let me know about it, and then... Now, FaceTime, this is something cool, the handoff feature. It shows the person and FaceTime, and then it has the join button. That is really cool when they're on another FaceTime device. Notification center, you can see it popped up. I like the new time font. That is actually cool that you can customize the time and date. The date with voiceover, however, is not accessible. So here's another implementation where it pops up at the bottom and then i just swipe down and it disappeared but those are the features with notifications the other feature i do like like this one here where the battery shows and i like that now i do like the fact that um i can do this long press it will not let me edit it it gives you haptic vibration and then i can swipe between the two this one and then the weather app here so like here, every every year we get thunderstorms. So this is actually pretty cool. Lock the screen and swipe up. And look at that. So it mimics what the weather is outside. That is actually really cool. Now, um, like I said, there was voiceover stuff. SOS with eSIM um, and SIM cards. You can call emergency services without having a SIM card apparently. After you install the iOS update, go to settings, general, about, and then the version when you type uh, tap on the uh, system version iOS 15.6 or 15.5, it would just show the whole build number. Now it shows the release notes along with the build number on here. Which when I turn on Voiceover, Voiceover on about this up cancel about this update. If you notice, Voiceover does sound different. It's Tom, but uh, more. Humanize, I guess. 16.0, p All right. Includes improvements. Screen record heading. Screen activity. Screen act sound. Audio volume. Speaking words. Speaking rate. I'm going to slow Six, this down for some people. 50% above 16.0, p Includes improvements and bug fixes for your iPhone. 55, 60%. And then it says for the content of security updates for um the iPhones visit the website, which then if I visit it, it will bring me to the security contents of iOS 15.5 because this is beta software, but you can hit. 54% cancel button, cancel, about this, 16, about cancel. Cancel, and then it brings you back to the main settings menu. FaceTime. Within about. 
So that that's actually really cool. I really like that. All right, so I what I'm really curious about the um, folders thing. I'll be tinkering around with it and stuff like that because apparently with the folders you can um, enable certain actions to work on your behalf like low power mode or dark mode i'll be curious if you can enable have dark mode enable when you have a focus kick in like your sleep focus at night and stuff like that that will be curious now up here where the moon icon is voiceover um has been acting up a little bit it actually describe it actually reads out the code that it's that it's not supposed to read out friendly underscore symbol underscore name underscore moon fill image a black circle with a blue circle in the center. So it's doing that. But all in all, I've ran it for the last FaceTime. three hours. I need more time to test it. I'll give you all a, you know, top feature slash what's new. My top dug through features, I guess. Or, you know, my follow up 24 hours later. And then um, down the road this weekend, I'll give you a, you know, follow up. I'm not going to go into what's actually new, like all features, because things will change between now and September where there's a P at the end of the num at the end of the build, things are going to change. Things will change. Things are going to, they're going to add features. You know, it's inevitable that things are going to change. You know, what is not inevitable to change you subscribing to the channel, turning on all notifications and I'll keep y'all updated as soon as possible. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'm currently not feeling good. My allergies are kicking my butt. I appreciate everyone for watching and I will see y'all later. Peace.